Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm going to be um, addressing this Tamika Scott and Latasha Scott beef real quick. Both ladies spoke on the beef, you know, between them outside of the show. Tamika addressed it on her YouTube channel, which I believe is the real Tamika Scott. And Tasha brought her ass into somebody's um, radio station and half ass addressed the theft allegations made against her, you know, by her sister Tamika. But before I get into what Tasha was saying, I'm going to speak on Tamika and what she had to say. Some of you have already seen her, you know, you know, seen her speak on it um, because you've been sending me the link. Okay. But for those who haven't, I'm going to leave that link for you up under the video. But Tamika recorded a video and in the video, um, her two older daughters were present. One of the daughters were there with Tamika the day of Escape show in Vegas. And she spoke on the incident and you could tell that, you know, she didn't appreciate how her mama was being treated by her mother and her aunt. Okay. Okay. Neither one of her kids appreciated it. They had her back 100%. So according to Tamika, they were in Vegas performing. It was an outside performance. Her daughter was there. Like I said, somebody got to shooting at the show and the group was rushed off the stage. They didn't get a chance to, you know, finish performing. And, you know, Tamika and Candy, they shared a dressing room trailer and Tasha and Tiny had shared one. Candy and Tamika, however, got locked out of their trailer for an hour. Like I mentioned, you know, in the review last week, no one was able to get them back into their trailer at the time. So without checking on Tamika or her niece to see if they were good, because, you know, somebody had just got done shooting. Latasha just walked up out of there. Okay. So. Tamika was in her feelings about that because she felt like, you know, that's her sister. She should have made sure that she was good. She would have did it. She would have did that for her. Okay. Um, so Tamika sent out a group text, which she called a business text. Okay. Because this was supposed to be sent to their business manager and their road manager because the two of them left with Tasha. Okay. Their business manager left with all of their money and their road manager is actually Tasha's personal assistant. They hired that person to um, be their road manager. Okay. So Tamika shot them a text. Okay. Because her thing is you don't just leave the artist in that text. Tamika told them to keep walking and to kiss her ass. Unbeknown to Tamika, Tasha was in on that text. Okay. So when Tasha saw the text, she responded and she responded by telling Tamika to kiss her ass. And she said, what else did she say? She said, and know what you're saying when you say keep walking. So like I said, Tamika said she wasn't even talking to her, but you know, all right. And, and Tamika told her that she, I, I wasn't talking to you, but she was like, I wasn't even talking to you, but if, um, you had an ass to kiss. And Tasha took that as, you know, she was body shaming her. In fact, I think Tasha said in last week's episode that all the ladies in the group done talked about everybody's ass, okay? So it's safe to say that Tasha is insecure, which is understandable if people, you know, always saying things about her body. Truth be told, all the ladies done had some shit said about their physical appearance back in the day anyway, okay? People said all kinds of fucked up shit about them. But in order to be good mentally, you got to find a way to overlook that shit, especially if you're performing, you know, for the public. You know what I'm saying? You have to find a way to overlook that shit and know that you're the shit no matter what anybody has to say. But anyway, Tamika told her that she was not body shaming her and she even apologized to her if she felt like she was. But Tasha wasn't trying to hear it. I feel that Tasha may be jealous of, you know, Tamika's relationship with Candy because we all know that Candy and Latasha stayed at each other's neck. Normally, when your sister is beefing with somebody, you beefing with them too, because that's your sister. But what if your sister's beef is just some bullshit she keeping up? At first, I was thinking like, okay, it's possible that the ladies could have been treating Latasha some kind of way, you know, because we aren't privy to what goes on behind the scenes, but it's looking more like Tasha is just keeping up bullshit. You know, it just may be her own personal insecurities mixed in with some jealousy. Like I said, Tamika said that she has always protected Tasha, so she wouldn't be body shaming her, especially when she done went and had her body done. And mind you, Tamika said that Tasha didn't even mention that she felt that she was body shaming her until the show. So she trying to 
she's trying to accuse Tamika of just wanting to, um, uh, not Tamika. Okay. What am I trying to say? Tasha is trying to accuse Tamika of just wanting to be seen and heard. Okay. But she's the one that waited until the show to get on there to mention what her issue was with her sister. You know what I mean? You follow me? But anyway, after that show in Vegas, Tamika said that she fired their road manager and their business manager. Okay. After that, she tried to work things out with Tasha and she had reached out to Tasha several times, but Tasha didn't want to talk. Tamika knew that, you know, they were about to start filming. Okay. According to her, she wanted her and Tasha to resolve their issue because she didn't want, you know, their business out on TV. However, that seemed to be what Tasha had in mind because Tamika said that she reached out to you know her sister several times but she hadn't gotten any kind of response so even she even reached out to tasha's husband and then their mother when she reached out to their mother you know she was like um you know i know you can make this happen because me and tasha need to talk still hadn't heard from tasha a whole month later she said her mama came talking about tasha then told her side of the story to the tv people and it sounded like her mama was proud of that shit. And I'm just going to throw this shit out there. I feel like Tamika need to look into seeing if she was adopted. Because from what I've seen on the show and by what Tamika says about, you know, her sister and her mother, as far as how they treat her, I wouldn't be surprised if Tamika was adopted. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Could her mama have been looking to have a playmate for Tasha because she was the only child and brought Tamika into the home for those purposes? to be of service to Tasha because something don't seem right with the mama. Tamika even said herself that there would be times when she would walk into the room and her mama and Tasha would stop talking. You know what I'm saying? Beforehand, they would be giggling and whispering and shit. And Tamika was like, I was feeling like, damn, was I a mistake? And I was sitting there thinking like maybe somebody else's mistake, which could have made it possible for you to be up for adoption and, you know, end up with Tasha's mother. Child, it wouldn't shock me. It would not shock me. Because who treat their kid like that? You know what I'm saying? Like a stepchild or a child that you just, you know, may have dealt with just for a check. Not like the child you carried and pushed out into the world and love. You know what I'm saying? So Tasha wasn't interested in working things out with her sister. She waited till the show started filming and decided to tell their business. Tamika also said that Tasha said that she was going to turn up on the show. That's what she told Tiny, that she was going to turn up on the show and that they were going to see the real her. I was like, if this the real you, bitch, prepare, you, you know, prepare yourself because people going to probably be throwing tomatoes at your ass on stage. Your ass going to give escape a whole new meaning when you on your knees trying to crawl your way up out that bitch to literally escape. Y'all, so Tamika then went on to talk about the performance that they had before the Vegas show, which was the Soul Train performance where Tasha was the only one not dressed in the same color as everybody else as the rest of the group. Y'all remember that? The other ladies had on cream and Tasha came walking up in there with green. And I feel like she did that shit on purpose. So Tamika said that Tasha wanted to have her own stylist while Candy, Tamika, and Tiny shared a stylist. Tamika said that their stylist sent pictures of their outfits you know, what they were going to be wearing over to Tasha's stylist so she would know, okay? Um, You know, to let that person know what the plan was for that night, which was for everybody to wear cream, the color cream. But Tasha said that she didn't get that memo, okay? Tamika said that she did. Tamika was like, whatever. We didn't care that she came walking her ass up, at, up in there with the green dress because she looked good. And I even, she said, Tamika said, I even told uh, Tasha that, you know, she looked good or whatever. And Tamika said when she gave Tasha that compliment on her dress that she decided to wear, Tasha didn't say nothing. She just looked at her like she was crazy and turned her head away from, you know, just turned her head away. Pretty much the mama going to tell Tamika that, you know, it was just not the right time and that she wasn't ready to talk to her. She would say that. Tasha, you know, doing her own thing was a way of saying, in my opinion, you know, I do what I want to do. Just because y'all want to wear cream don't mean I have to. It seemed like she was just being difficult. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she did look like the oddball standing out at the Soul Train Award. She looked good, but she was not in tune with the rest of the group. And it's clear that 
Tasha had an issue with her sister before that text even came about, which is another reason why I say that, you know, Tasha is probably just jealous of or mad at Tamika's relationship with the other ladies, especially Candy, and feel that she should be closer to her than she is with the rest of the group because they're sisters. At that point, Tasha didn't know what she had done. Okay. That was that bad. You know what I'm saying? That warranted Tasha not talking to her for a whole month. Okay. I think it was a whole month. Um, she didn't find out exactly why Tasha was uh, acting the way she was acting until the show started filming. And that's crazy that the mama going to tell Tamika, well, your sister told her side to the TV people. But this is the same lady that wanted the TV people out of her house when Tamika started telling Tasha business. You know what I'm saying? Telling everybody how she and her motherfucking husband stole her money. Tamika thought that she and Tasha was going to squash their beef before the show even started filming. But Tasha wanted to wait till the show to start talking. Tamika was like, once filming began, she felt attacked. That day she went over to her mother's to meet her and uh, Tasha. She said that, you know, um, it was a lot of shit that they didn't show. But they did show her going off about her fucking money. She said Tasha was filming and telling the world that she thought that she was that she was better than other people, didn't know how to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? This is the stuff that Tasha was telling uh, the world about her sister, Tamika. And Tamika said that um, she had pulled her phone out and she was she had started pulling up text messages from her mother to you know just to show the stuff that her mother was saying i guess and her mother had grabbed her phone out of her hand and started poking at her in front of her kid just being disrespectful and treating her like she wasn't a grown-ass fucking woman with kids and just like i said last week in my review of the show when tasha was you know talking the mama didn't say shit but every time um tamika tried to talk explain herself she was wrong and the mama just wanted her to shut up her feelings didn't matter her feelings in the matter didn't matter just latasha's they wanted latasha to not latasha they wanted tamika to just shut up and let them attack her in my opinion so tamika was like the only way for her to the only way for her to have gotten out of that attack was to fight their asses with the truth she said Tasha was saying all these lies about her on TV. So she was going to defend herself with the truth. And the truth is, according to Tamika, you know what I'm saying? Is that Tasha stole her money. She said that she never brought that shit up and forgave her sister, even though her and her husband had to pay taxes on the money, money that they never received. Tamika said her husband didn't even know until it aired on the show. And like I said last week, Tamika wasn't going to bring that shit up. I felt like she wasn't going to even bring that shit up. But since her sister wanted to run her mouth, okay, let's talk about why you and your husband stole my motherfucking money. Then Tasha going to get her ass, you know, in her little vi- uh, um, little interview and was like, pretty much, um, if this was true, then why ain't she never brought it up? Why ain't Tamika, you know, never brought it up before now? And it's like, bitch, she probably didn't bring it up because you was her sister. And she was probably still in disbelief that her own fucking sister could steal her motherfucking money, especially at a time when she, you know, she needed it. Tamika was not only pregnant when Tasha stole her money, allegedly, but Tamika was also paying for her daughter's college tuition out of pocket. Okay. And there goes Tasha criminalistic ass, in my opinion, stealing her money. Candy said that it was being said that somebody had been signing Tamika's name on the checks and depositing them into the bank account. So allegedly, Tasha or her husband was signing Tamika's name on them checks when they were coming to Tasha's house and then deposited them into the bank account, which they were saying was Rocky's bank account. So when Tasha sit up there and say that, you know what I'm saying, Tamika ain't never brought it up before now, you know, it's like, just because she never mentioned it don't mean that your ass ain't steal your sister money. Tamika was told that the only way she would be able to recover the money was if she were to press charges. And Tamika wasn't about to press charges on her sister. But I wonder if the roles were reversed. Would Tasha spare Tamika? Probably not. I don't know. 
I haven't watched the second episode of the show yet. I plan on doing that later on this evening, but I heard that Tamika told her mama that if she and Tasha was on a cliff and she had to save one of them, she wouldn't even reach out to her mama because she know that she would save Tasha over her. And that is so fucked up that she feel that way. And what's even more fucked up is that it just may be true. I would hope not, but based on what I've seen and heard, I don't know. Y'all, Tamika said that she never received the money, but had to pay taxes on it. Her and her husband taxes were going crazy, yet she still hadn't mentioned to her husband what happened, okay? She didn't mention that the taxes were coming from royalties that she had never received because her sister stole her money. She said she still protected her. And Tasha never paid her back. Just fucking trifling. That chick sound like she is very hateful, spiteful, and bitter, and they need to get to the root of it because, you know, Tasha better than me. Not Tasha. Tamika is better than me because Tasha would have been wearing three shoes, two on her feet and one in her ass. Okay? Then get this, y'all. Tamika said that the only thing her mama said was about what happened about Tasha stealing the money. She said the only thing that her mama said about that was, you don't know what Tasha was going through. And that shit pissed me off because I don't give a fuck what you're going through. If you need something from me, ask. Don't just take my shit. Tamika was going through shit too. Like I said, she was pregnant and also, you know, paying her daughter's college tuition or trying. She needed that money. That's thievery and that's fraud. Be thankful Tamika did sweep it up under the rug instead of implying that she lying because she never brought it up before now. Because your stupid ass could be behind bars, Latasha. And if this shit is true like Tamika said it is, and I believe it is, her mom ain't shit either. Sorry. And Latasha want to make this shit out to be about Tamika being disrespectful to her mama. And I'm like, bitch, fuck that. Don't tell me that I'm disrespectful to my mama. Tell me why my motherfucking checks ended up in your fucking husband's bank account. That's all I'm interested in hearing because I got the receipts and I can send you and your ugly ass husband to prison with the rest of the frauds. That's what liars do, y'all. They deflect. When she did her little interview at the radio station regarding this matter, that's all she was saying, how Tamika was disrespectful to their mother. Tamika was like, I love and respect my mama and how I reacted was in response to the shit that I've been dealing with for years, ever since I was a child. And if it came out disrespectful, I'm sorry. She said she apologized to her mama for that, but you know, she ain't the only one that needs to be apologizing in my opinion. I don't think she needs to apologize at all, actually, because the mama knew that Tasha stole that money, in my opinion, and tried to downplay it by saying, you don't know what she was going through. Like, lady, did you raise a thief or no? Because if you did, that's a reflection of you. How much of that stolen money went into your pockets? I was listening to Tasha say how she has been protecting her sister all her life. She says she done been in fights for her sister and kicked out of school for her sister. And I was thinking Tasha is probably expecting Tasha to steal, not not to me. Tasha is probably still expecting Tamika to still fight for her. And Tamika probably like, bitch, I don't want to fight no more. We in our fucking fifties, whatever beef you got with whomever work that shit out and release the grudges. Cause it, it only makes sense. If, you know, y'all going to stay together in the group. All Tamika want to do, in my opinion, is make money. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to beef with nobody, but I think her sister want her to because she is. But anyway, Tamika, you know, um, she wants to hash the shit out with her sister. Okay. But her sister is on something else. Uh, Tasha even changed her phone number. That's what Tamika said. Tamika said that Tasha changed her phone number and her mama won't even get her Tasha number because she say that Tasha need her peace. I was like, she need her peace. Well, you tell Tasha that Tamika need her money. Tamika needed peace too when she found out that her own fucking sister stole from her ass. Now let's get into Tasha's little interview with the radio station, okay? Pretty much, Latasha walked her ass into that interview in sunglasses because, in my opinion, she was trying to hide. She didn't want people to see the lies, in my opinion. So she hid behind those dark-ass shades. She must have heard us saying, you know, we could look at her face on last week's episode and tell that she was lying about stealing uh, Tamika's money. Also, she's probably embarrassed because the world now sees her as a thief. Because no matter what she say, I, along with others, believe Tamika. 
You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that Tamika will make up shit like that about her sister and tell it on TV. Now, I know that Tamika put that shit out about Candy being a hoe, okay? And they said that that wasn't true. Um, But we talking about her sister, who she says is the reason she fell out with Candy in the first place, by the way. I think Tasha want her to fall out with Candy again. But Tamika don't want to be with nobody just because her sister is. She want to perform and make money. And her sister need to be on the same page so she can go out there and make money too. Enough money to pay her sister back her money. Okay? But back to Tasha's brief clip of, you know, back to this little brief clip of Tasha's interview. And it was brief because she really didn't say much about the situation. She mainly spoke about how disrespectful Tamika was last week on the show when she was talking to her mama about the money that Tasha stole. She making a shit about, you know, their mother when it's about her being a thief. Deflection, deflection, deflection. Oh, I'm hurt. And I don't want my mother to be depicted in that way. Tamika was calling you the thief, not y'all mama. She said y'all mama knew about it, but I'm like depicted how like a mother who treats one daughter like a princess and the other daughter like she's a stepchild. Oh, she was like Tamika was screaming at our mom and y'all didn't get a chance to see everything. And all y'all saw was the allegations. Y'all didn't see us asking, why are you doing this Tamika? And you wait till the cameras come on. I was like, bitch, she told you why she was doing it. Because you wanted to make her look bad with lies. So she made your ass look bad with the truth. And the truth, according to Tamika, is that you stole her money. Talk about that. Not how she disrespected your mama. Because that's not what it's about. Talk about that 30000 fucking dollars. So she trying to make it seem like Tamika is just putting on for the cameras. But Tamika said that she was the one telling Tiny that she was going to turn up on the show. You know what I'm saying? And that they were going to see the real her. You know? She ain't lie about that because I think we are seeing the real her, unfortunately, because people going to, you know, have this shit in the back of their minds when they're performing on stage. She said, you don't go against your family like that. This is what Tasha is saying about Tamika. You don't go about you don't go against your family like that. I was like, you mean tell the truth? Oh, OK. She was like, me and Tamika are totally different. I would never disrespect my mother. I was like, bitch, you don't have to when your mama is actually treating you like her daughter instead of a stepchild that she just tolerates. She like, when you claim allegations that are not true and you disrespect your mother, that's not cool. <clears throat> so since she keep trying to make Tamika seem like a liar, I'm going to need for Tamika to produce her receipts to shut it down. I doubt if she do that to her sister, but if Tasha going to sit there and call her a liar, you know, Tamika can prove that she's not, hopefully. Tasha thing is she want to talk about the shit that she's done behind closed doors, but talk about the shit she claims somebody else done did to her on camera. All I got to say to that is girl bye. Y'all, she going to say, you don't pick your family apart like that. I was like, but ma'am, it was perfectly okay for you to tell the world that your sister body shamed you. And don't know how to treat people and think she better than other people and whatever else. But she can't say what she feel about you, which is that you're a thief. I feel like Tasha feel that way because that's how it's been in their family from the jump. Thanks to their mama. Tasha can say whatever she feel, but Tamika have to shut up. Then she going to say, and why am I not hearing about this until now? I was like, girl, if you stole that girl money, you know you stole that girl money. You don't need her to tell you shit. You don't need her to tell you that you stole it. She going to say there's no way you can deposit checks into somebody else's account with somebody else's name on it. I was like, criminals find a way to do anything. So, girl, stop. Receipts don't lie. That's her way of trying to make it seem like, you know, Tamika is just putting on for the camera. Like, like I said, girl, bye. And that's all I got to say about this, y'all. People kept asking me to get my thoughts on it. So there they go. The review of the episode. Um, I'm sorry. The review of episode two of the Queens of R&B with SWV and Escape. That will be posted sometime tomorrow. All right. So y'all take care. Now chat with y'all in the next one.